Presently, CCP high-ranking officials are vacationing in the Bei Daihe district near Beijing in Hebei province. As a result, petitioners from all over China who left their homes for business or travel to Beijing are all intercepted, repatriated, illegally arrested, and detained by police officers and personnel who are responsible for maintaining political stability. Bei Daihe district even became a forbidden area where no petitioners can enter. On August 10th, petitioner Yang Guangmei from Chongqing told NTD that she, along with Tang Daichuan, Gu Chuan, and Gu Yongtian, were intercepted while they were at the high-speed rail station in Qingtai City, Hebei Province. The police officers took their IDs without any explanation. I asked him why he withheld my ID. I am a lawful citizen. And he said he would talk about it after the local officials arrived. So we did not get on the HSR and were waiting for the local police officers who later took me back without my consent. She indicated that it is totally illegal for the local government to intercept them like that. I said I am going to see the leader of the central government. He said, who told you that you would be able to see him? Will the leader of the central government see you? I said it's another issue whether or not he wants to see me, but I have to go and appeal. Right now I have no house to live in, no food to eat, and no clothes to wear. What can I do? Yang Guangmei said that she has five people in the family who are all old, weak, and sick. Now they have nowhere to go, so they are staying in a temporary house to shelter from the rain. But the government does not allow them to stay there. She sighed and said, isn't it leaving us with no choice but a dead end? Yang's case is not isolated. According to the information posted by Civil Rights and Livelihood Watch on August 9th, incidents where petitioners going to Beijing to appeal are intercepted and suppressed have significantly increased recently. At midnight on August 9th, petitioners Yang Ling and He Xiaohua from Chongqing were forcibly taken away in Beidai He by local interceptors. On the morning of the same day, Hu Zhenshou, a petitioner from Jiangsu province, had her phone snatched away by the police, was handcuffed with her hands behind her back, and taken away in a car while she was in Gu'an County, Hebei province. Another incident happened on the same day where petitioner Zhou Chun from Chongqing was visiting Bei Dai He with his son, and both were taken away by local interceptors. There is no further information about them. On August 8th, petitioner from Chongqing, Xiao Jianfang, was eating near the Beijing train station and was taken to the police station after being recognized by facial recognition cameras. Until now, there has been no new news about her. On the same day, Tsai Bang Ying, another petitioner from Chongqing, was intercepted by police on the way to Beijing to appeal. On August 2nd, Meng Haisha, a human rights activist from Rugao County, Jiangsu Province, traveled to Bei Dai He on a train and was intercepted at the exit of the station by the police, compulsively restricting her personal freedom. It is said that Meng's house was forcibly demolished and she was beaten and thrown into a fish pond. She and her husband were framed into serving six years imprisonment by the local government after appealing and defending their rights.